Hi there, just a little short video um, on a very cool fixture that I came across. Uh, kids school has um, a theatre in it and they have theatre lighting but it hasn't worked for years and they haven't had the money to, re to refit the, the... So I had a look at the fittings and took them down and said I would uh, use up some of the old stock and bits and pieces I have lying around and retrofit them. So this is an old uh, 550 watt strand electric um, theatre light fixture. Had a little search online and they're not very sought after. You get them for about 50 bucks each. Um, but beautiful fitting, really nicely engineered. It's a, an aluminium casting, um, brass fittings, um, just in very good condition and uh, it would be quite funky to have at home or to um, to maybe use in, your, in, a, in a bar or a restaurant or whatever and uh, to project light, very nice. Uh, not doing the exterior in this refit because they're going to be hidden out of view but I've also seen where people have chromed them and detailed them um, really nicely which uh, gives them a really lovely finish so um, yeah let's have a look at the fitting. So here we have the original fitting it's a strand electric 1950s theatre light. This is a, an allium, aluminium casting in a few different pieces. We've got a really nice feature here, it's the hanger which has a very cool little basically disc brake fixture feature for holding the light in position. The front has an adjustable telescopic lens. Here then, to see where the light fitting goes. So this is a 500 watt Philips 559C bulb. This one is blown, but we still have one still working. You'll get to see it. And obviously at the rear of that, it's got a uh, reflector, so getting as much light going forward to the lamp, and then this uh, reflector directing it down towards the outlet. It's a really nice fitting, actually very light considering size and bulk and what it's doing and really nicely made. So to replace this we've taken out the rear reflector, this reflector, the bulb, the bulb fitting and just the restrictor on the, um, le on the telescopic elements. And what we've done is we've taken a luminous 4000K chip, which is nice for um, theatre lighting. It'll bring up colours nicely on the stage. We've mounted it onto a relatively small heatsink we're also running it on a little bit under current so it doesn't need a huge amount of cooling and this is going to fit on the old mounting holes for the reflector so that it it comes up inside now there's a lot of light escaping and going in all directions so i fitted a lens as well on top and that just means when the fitting closes together, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the, um, the lens will direct the light, most of it, up into this, through this hole and out through the, uh, the telescopic feature. So let's see it in action. So this is the original fitting with the 500 watt Philips bulb in it. And um, you can see, I hope you can see there, it's consuming 542 watts at the moment. And it uh, creates a, quite a nice light. There's a lovely effect here. Uh, well, you can see it, but um, at a certain distance, you can see the bulb image from the uh, light. 
that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it runs extremely hot. You can barely touch this. Uh, the incandescents are probably about 95% inefficient. So of that 540 watts, about 500 of it is going to heat. So they're very, very hot. And um, the level of light that it produces, I measured this beam um, and it's producing about 1300 lux where it lands at about five meters, which is not bad, but it's not, um, for, a six, for 550 watt light, it's not very good. So let's switch on the LED retrofit. And you can see that much more definite beam coming from it. Quite nicely, the effect you can get from that, from the lens, is again hopefully you can see that but you can see all the little individual LEDs which is quite cool so old and new beside each other but this one you got the luminous 4k chip uh, running it it's rated for 2.2 amps and running it just at 1.7 amps so it's going to run pretty cool the um, grid at the back, the cooling grating uh, lines up really nicely with the heat sinks in there. I'm not sure how well you can see that inside. But uh, yeah, it fits pretty well. It's a nice, neat little retrofit. And uh, yeah, that's reducing from 550 watts to 100 watts, just less 95 watts. And the level of illumination is twice as much at that five meter distance. So it's about two and a half thousand lux. So it's got a nice beam from it. And get to keep this uh, really cool old 1950s fixture and um, get to use it again. So yeah, happy days.